Hello, I'm Arjan Verhoef and I'm working for Femto Engineering. At Femto, we bring simulation solutions to engineering problems. We help our customers achieve their product innovation goals with FEA and CFD consulting, software, training and support. In this video, I want to show you how to use stress transform in FEMA. Sometimes you want to know very detailed stresses in part of your model, and there's not a, a coordinate system which uh, is in the right direction, and you want to know the stresses in a certain direction. That's why you can use st uh, stress transformation. So for example, I want to know the stresses in the longitudinal direction in this part of my structure. Therefore, I'm first going to make a new thesis, I'm uh, going to use the draw erase toolbar to hide part of my elements. Okay, I can look inside. I want to have a new coordinate system, uh, a cylindrical one. Um, the center is between those two nodes. Okay, the x axis. The x-axis is on the that node and a definition a location in the xy plane is on that node. Okay. So now I have a new cylindrical coordinate system in that location. And then I can transform the stresses in those directions. So I go to post data. And then, so I want to transform my x normal stress into the t direction of my new coordinate system. Okay, okay. Now you can see that the x normal stress is now the stress in the tangential direction of this coordinate system and the other one so the uh, y stress is the stress in the, the z direction the other one which is the direction i wanted to know thanks for watching please feel free to contact us via our website femto.nl or send an email to support at femto.nl our engineers are there to support you.